Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Gabby and this is part 2 to our initial video where we sorted various words as they relate to Halloween. Now it is not necessary for you to watch the first part, but I do encourage it as it will help us when figuring out the missing letters to some of these words. But if you have watched part 1, you will notice that there are some different words that we're going to try to figure out today as it relates to Halloween for good practice. And at this part of the video, if you could get out a sheet of paper, and then as we try to figure out these words and as we fill them in, I would also like you to write down the full word yourself. This way we get good practice and as we write them down, we'll retain the information better. And let's do these two words on the screen as an example. So we have this picture and this one as well. And by examining what is going on, you guys probably already know what the word is. But even though you know what the word is, doesn't mean that you know how to spell it. So let's look at this one first. I would like you to say it out loud. So we have a little guy with some wings. And again, this is pertaining to Halloween. So what is this? Well, the first letter is B and the last letter is T. So we have a bat. Yes, bat. And when you say that aloud, what letter are you hearing in the middle that goes with a bat? Well, ah, ah. And if you think about your ABCs, A, B, C, well, ah, ah is the short sound to the vowel A. Yep, so the letter A will go in the middle. And just to make sure you're right, just say that word again out loud. So we have b at bat. And then this next one might be a little easy. So we have, it looks like a little spider hanging from a web. Yep. And what is that sound? Uh, uh, web. Again, that is a short vowel sound for the letter E. So we would put a little E in the middle of that word. And when we say it again out loud, we have web. And on your sheet of paper, write down those words and try your best, if you can, not to look at this video as you say them aloud. So think about it, but at, and then write down the word and do the same for web as well. And so by the end of this video, you'll have a collection of words that you did all by yourself. All right, two words down, two more to go. So now we have two different pictures appearing on the screen with their missing letters to their words. And I would like you now to pause the video and try your best to figure out the missing letters yourself. Then you could come back to this video and figure out if you did that correctly. And if you're having trouble, just look at the pictures that we have that are associating with the word we're trying to find, and that will help you figure out the word. And once you figure out what it is, just say it out loud and then try to imagine the letters that would go inside. And with that, let's look at our first picture we have here. Well, it looks like it's an animal on top of a branch. And if you remember from our first video, if you watched it, it is an owl. Mm -hmm. And remember, we were talking about that ow sound. And remember, that ow sound can be with an O-U or an O-W. So owl, owl. Well, do you think there's a U in there or a W? Because the letter we're given is an O, so we know it could be either those two letters. So. Let's look at it if there was a U. So, owl. It's pronounced the same, but does the word look correct? To me, it doesn't. Now with owl, for good practice when it comes to that ow sound, you just need to see it in repetition to understand how it gets spelled correctly. So, with that we have owl, O-W-L. And then for this next picture, it might be a little tricky. Now it looks like we have clouds, some stars, and then what's that little crescent up there? Yep, a moon. And before you even think about how to spell this word, you have to eliminate what exactly we're trying to find. So we have two O's in the middle here, and then we have the clouds and the stars. So which word are we trying to find? Is it a moon, clouds, or stars? Well, so say the words out loud. So clouds, well, we're hearing that ow sound again. And I don't think OO goes with clouds. I think that's either an OU or an OW. So it's not clouds. And then what about stars? Rs, st Rs. Well, I am hearing an A sound. And we have two O's in the middle, so it can't be that. So we are trying to find the word moon in this example. And again, say that word out loud, moon. What is that first letter? M-M. That's an M. 
<laughs> and then what about the ending? M -oon -n -n. That is an N. So we have M O O N for moon. And take this time now to spell those words on your piece of paper. And again, try not to look, do it on your own. And here's a little challenge. After you write down those words, I would like you to use both of them in a sentence. So I could give you an example. The owl looked up at the moon. And try to do something like that, but don't use the same example that I did. And with that, let's look at our last two examples for today. So we have this little picture of a girl wearing a hat and then this picture mm, of a scary little creature without giving that word away. And if you already seen the first part, you might already know what words these two pictures are, but let's look at this little guy here first. The first couple letters is G-H-O. Now try to pronounce that out loud. So g o n g o o s t mm -hmm. That is a ghost. Maybe you might have been one for this Halloween. And then what about this other picture? Again, she has a little pointy hat and a little kitty next to her. What might have you been for Halloween probably in the past or seen someone dressed up like this before? They are a what it witch. So we know what these words are. We have a witch and a ghost, but we're missing the ending to witch. So let's focus on that last two letters. Ch -ch. What sound? associates with those letters. So we have ch, ch. And here's a little hint, that's a digraph sound. And a digraph is two letters that when we say it aloud just sounds like one letter. So if it's which, what letter in the alphabet starts with that digraph? So ch, ch. That is a C. Mm -hmm. And then if it's a digraph, what is it attached to? Well, that's an H. So we have W-I-T-C-H. And make sure that you copy that word down and write it on your own. But let's look at ghost. So we have G-H-O for our starting. And then ghost. St. Mm, what sounds that? S. Well, that's an S. And then t, t. Say it out loud with me. A T. So ghost is G-H-O-S-T. And like with our last example, try to do another sentence that has both of these words inside. So for me, I would say the little witch saw the spooky ghost on Halloween night. And if you'd like to get creative, draw a little picture that goes with your sentence to try to describe the scene to whoever might see it. All right, and with that, we're done with these set of words. I appreciate you guys joining me here today, and I hope you learned to spell some new words as they relate to Halloween. Now, my challenge for you is that can you spell them on your own by not looking at this video, but hearing them said aloud? Well, challenge yourself. See if you can do it. By trying this, you're just proving to yourself how much of a good reader and writer that you are. But I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!